James Fairbanks admits to killing convicted sex offender Matteo Condolucci in May. He says he'd take a plea deal if lawmakers and prosecutors would look at to reform sex offender laws. Senior reporter Jake Waskowski explains what could be discussed, but why it's not because of what Fairbanks did. James Fairbanks tells me his side of what happened the day he killed Matteo Condolucci. He says he knew of Condolucci's past as a registered sex offender, saw him staring at children, waited days, and went to threaten him to stop when he says Condolucci came at him, so he shot him. Fairbanks believes he could win at trial, but is willing to take a plea deal if prosecutors and lawmakers look at harsher punishments for sex offenders and better tracking of them. The bigger reason I would rather take the plea is to get out of the way and let the focus uh, be more on changing the laws and, and raise as much awareness of the greater issue. Chief Deputy Douglas County Attorney Brenda Beadle says they don't bargain with cases. And the state does have mandatory minimums for certain sex crimes against children. You know, there, these are serious things when we're talking about crimes against children. But again, we have one of the best units in the country, I think. We're very aggressive on these kinds of charges. We get great results. Um, I think we charge cases that a lot of prosecutors wouldn't even um, file. Well, first I would say there's no place in a civilized society for people to uh, take the law into their own hands and decide who deserves to live or not live and then go out and execute somebody. Chairman of the Nebraska State Judiciary Committee, Senator Steve Lathrop says Fairbanks actions have not influenced any decisions at the state level. And if people want to impact local laws, they should come in front of the committee to explain why they want to change. I suspect next year we'll see bills uh, really from both ends of the spectrum. Those that want to see um, more, more stringent punishment and those that would like to see some way for people on the registry to have relief when they can demonstrate they're not a risk to reoffend. Reporting in Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. The legislature will come back on July 20th to finish the previous session stopped by COVID-19, but any new bills would have to be introduced in 2021.